You're wagering on NFL games this weekend or this whole season. Well, you're in the right spot to hear who might be your best pick. I'm joined by Larry Hartstein, the senior analyst for Sportsline, who, by the way, is 11 and 6 so far this season. That's 65% accuracy. Wow, it's going great so far, huh, Larry? Yeah, you never want to get too high in this business. Uh, it can be humbling, but we've been consistent. 72 and 53. Dating to last season, got a bunch of picks up for NFL Week 4 on Sportsline and ready to get it going. And, Larry, we need to talk about one of those picks. Let's talk about the Buccaneers taking on the Rams this weekend. What's the most striking trend or, I guess, betting angle that you've seen with this matchup? You know, the Rams haven't been overly impressive, but they keep covering 7-1 and one against the number, dating to last season, the only exception being the Super Bowl. And you look at Jared Goff, 112 passer rating at home, 74 on the road. Same disparity last year. He's going home. Look for a big game from Jared Goff. And Larry, the Rams are double digit favorites, but is this a total mismatch like odd makers are projecting? You know, Tampa is one and two. They really should be two and one. Bruce Arians had a brain freeze at the end of that game. The kicker missed two extra points and the short field goal. They should be two and one. The defense is much improved under Todd Bowles, and it's all going to come down to Jameis Winston and the turnovers. He has four interceptions, one fumble. Most of those happen against the 49ers, but he's facing an elite defense in the Rams, an elite secondary. If he can limit himself to one turnover, I think Tampa can make this a ball game. Larry, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it once again this week. And you can check out all of Larry's week two picks, or excuse me, week four picks for the NFL on Sportsline. The Buccaneers face the Rams at home, kickoff at 1.05 p.m. Sunday. Katie Johnston for CBS Local Sports.